good. Yes, it has. Yep, she's right. I can see it moving. Oh, yeah. All right, here we come. It's daytime. Yay! starting our journey uh, and we're on our way to Ohio to see the eclipse. Um, we got traffic, traffic, traffic north of Knoxville. I don't know if this is an everyday. Once we got north of Knoxville and outside the mountains, the rest of the drive was pleasant. Not much traffic at all. everybody we're getting ready to go to the eclipse Martha are you excited all right you excited I am so excited I didn't know you were feeling are you ready for the eclipse I am ready we're all ready to go Dave are you ready <laughs> yep. you're heading to Brookfield Indiana so Martha's gonna add another state to her list oh you haven't been to Indiana no no, no. she's never been to Ohio either official solar eclipse glasses sold here Okay, so you're getting a good view of rural Ohio and soon to be rural Indiana. After hanging out in Cincinnati for a day with my uncle David, my aunt Tamara, and my cousin Jonathan, we all loaded up together and drove drove to Indiana to a location that was in full totality of the eclipse. We're out here in Indiana on a lake. Do we remember what the name of the lake is? Brookville. Brookville Lake. And uh, a little bit later today, we'll be looking at that really excited we've seen people now at this point from at least six different states just here this morning I understand you all have activities here we do so over here with megan we are making bracelets with uv beads mm -hmm. oh. so they change color in the sunlight and then they also glow in the dark so mm -hmm. hopefully here in our partial phases there'll be all different colors for everyone which typically indoors they're clear mm -hmm. and then come night they will be we have a bunch of glowing wrists all yes over the and we're hoping it'll be that way in totality yeah. so we'll see it's kind of a big experiment for all of us to see if it gets dark enough that the bracelets will glow so we have a sheet that we will be laying out so this is just one of the few things that you can experience in the partial phases so okay. I think when anyone is experiencing a total eclipse they're mostly focused and interested in totality that's right. you know the big draw but the partial phases really do have a lot to be desired too they're a little weird yeah so a lot of stuff just becomes interesting as we approach totality so shadow bands or shadow snakes is something that you may see mm -hmm. we do have a sheet that we will lay out and then also sharp and fuzzy shadows. Um, this is something that you can see in the partial phases too. So a lot of folks will just hold their hands out, make a shadow from wherever the sun is and kind of move your hand around. Mm -hmm. And you'll see your shadows start to get sharper or fuzzier depending on your angle toward the sun. Mm -hmm. So, and then the Purkinje effect, this is what these are for. Bright colors um, are suggested for a day like this or for a total eclipse because in our eyes we have rods and we have cones. Mm -hmm. Rods are to do with light absorption, cones are for color. Now when it starts to get dimmer out, we are not absorbing as much light and so mm -hmm. colors become a little harder to distinguish. Mm -hmm. So if you take these swatches back, you'll actually be able to see them changing color as we are approaching totality. So it's just another fun activity to kind of participate and experience the full eclipse not just totality. We saw the, the eclipse in 2017. Oh, okay. uh, we were so two hours we were two hours from totality oh, okay. and uh, we were at 98 okay. percent. Thought would be great. 
and you don't see it get totally dark if i would have driven two hours away you know because we live in a suburb called marietta which is on the northwest side of atlanta okay. if we would have gone into the mountains we would have seen totality and so i was kicking myself for not doing i took the day off and everything else and i didn't drive so anyway, well, what's we came funny over. we've met over the weekend we've met so many folks that have experienced totality uh -huh. and they were just absolutely gushing about you really don't know until you see it and yeah. once you see it it's life-changing yeah. so they You've gotten us really excited yeah, about the whole yeah. thing. So you're going to actually pull the telescopes out and look? We are. So these were, we are very fortunate. These were donated to us by Duke Energy. Mm -hmm. okay. They sponsored um, telescopes for every Indiana State Park in the path of totality. Okay. So we have two just because this is one property, but we also have Whitewater Memorial State Park. So yeah. we were very lucky that we get to have two, but we're going to set them up. They do have solar filters okay. um, that we'll there put we on them. Yeah. But the wonderful thing is the solar filters detached so after today these will just be regular telescopes mm -hmm. we can use for astronomy programming uh -huh. so yeah we're really excited so about how big's it. the uh, how big's the eyepiece we have 25 in there right now. are you going to have pictures from that or not photos unfortunately not photos. we don't okay. have the ability to do that but we will have them set up and anyone and everyone can come up and take a look through oh, them that's... so i'll look and see if you can fit in there and see the photo we'll see what happens so. <laughs> yeah. so, anyway i was wondering if you needed a special filter for you i ordered a 100,000 nd filter okay so and i put it on the camera and pointed out the the, the front door mm. and you basically just see the pin light you see yeah. absolutely nothing out it, it basically blacks everything out yeah. um so but it's similar to that yeah oh, it's yeah. exactly that yeah. so what it, what you're doing is you're going to put that if you have like a, a cell phone or something like that just put that over it yeah. but the one thing you got to make sure that you don't do is you don't go like okay here we're gonna do that all right let me point it that way and look at it with your eye no, no, yeah no, no, that's no, one no. thing you don't want to do your retina in hurt. don't want to sure. don't want to do that yeah, but so yeah. I'm not doing any farther. I'm just going to put bits. But we'll have it out all day, so you can change your mind if you want to redo. But it'll be interesting to hear, you know, we have all of our our daytime birds. We can hear them here even with all of the people. So it'll be interesting to hear that process of them sort of quieting as it gets darker. And then see if we hear any of our nocturnal birds. Well, if you hear any snoring, I'm a bad snorer. That meant that I went to sleep. Okay. So just okay. wake me up so I we'll can. We'll wake you up so you don't miss anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Bring on the eclipse. Bring it the whole rest of the time. So I'm, I'm just asking. Well, Are even if we're blind. Alright. Right. You would know. I'll I'll move it for you. Place. A look of the Brookville Lake State Park beach area, our viewing area, gotta admit, the crowds were not nearly as much as I expected, which made for a great viewing experience. Got my glasses and I want to real quickly just look up and see if I see any dots and something because of malfunction, but everything looks good. So let me put them on. All right. I can't tell if I see anything through there or not. Martha's testing her glasses and making her uh, pose as usual. Yeah, well, focus fine, but it's really small. Nothing. Well, I don't know if I could see that with the, the camera because it won't focus it. I see it slowly going into darkness. It's the end of the world as we know it and Moonshadow played on the radio. So we'll see how the next few hours go. I'll let the sun go down on me by Elton John. Dancing in the Dark by Bruce Springsteen. Looking at the Sun by Matthew Sweet. Here Comes the Sun by The Beatles. A Sky Full of Stars by Coldplay. And then Eclipse by Pete Floyd. Now it looks like a first quarter moon. You're gonna have to take my, uh, my word for it because I can't get anything to, to shoot through the glasses. What do you see? Well, now you don't see anything. I don't see anything. No. I mean, it's like the sun is a crescent moon. It looks beautiful. A gentleman came over and, and showed me how to use my camera, so I finally got it working. I mean, he got it working. Now, I'm not certain if you can see this on the GoPro, but there is definitely a different tinge to the sky. So what do you think of the sky right now? 
I mean, what do you think of the grass? Super dark, or it's super dark green. It's dusk. Yeah. We're experiencing dusk in the middle of the day. It's 3.02 and we're told that the totality is supposed to occur about 3.09. As you can see here on the camera that's recording, uh, we have, uh, we got just a little bit of a sliver left. Uh, I'm sure the camera doesn't show this, but it was, uh, there's a, like a purplish tinge. There's a purplish tinge to the light. This is about what, Martha, this is about what we saw in, in, in Atlanta was about to this point. Mm -hmm. So that's when people who haven't been through total totality and they go, oh, 99%, that'll be fine. No, you get this, this is 99%. This, yep. this is what you had in 2017? Yeah. yeah. I don't think it was even this far. But I remember I having... This. Huh? I remember the environment being this way. But I remember it getting cold. But I don't remember it getting this cold. Well, that's the big problem is, is all these are automatic. Yeah. And so even if it's the, the tinge is off, it's correcting for the tinge. How do you change that? Set the white balance to one level. And I hope I have it set on the Insta360. I don't even know how to do I don't that. know how to do that. So but you, I, I don't know how you put the phone in manual settings. It's hard to believe that the video just does not show how dim everything just got. It, it really shows how good these cameras are nowadays at balancing stuff out. But wow. The sun's almost. The sun's almost gone. If you look at here, oh, this is it. It's getting, it's going fast. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. It's going fast. Oh, just a sliver left. It's going fast. Woo! Holy moly, this is fast. Wow. Yeah! Yeah! It's fully covered. Star. Oh my god. Or is that a plane? That's Jupiter. Oh my god. It's 308. Oh gosh. This is awesome. What is really amazing is if you look around, it looks like twilight. Yeah. Oh my God. But you are getting it. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> and there, you can actually see Jupiter out there. Uh, you can see a plane. The picture doesn't do anything. But you can't really no. see Jupiter in there. Oh my God. The microphone God. just will not get a picture of that. It's showing too No, much. no, it doesn't. Hey, look, there's kind of like a diamond at the six o'clock area. Yeah. What is that? The corona? Is that called the corona? I don't know. The whole thing's the corona. The whole thing's the corona. But yeah, my phone just won't get that. That is beautiful. As you look around, it almost looks like a sunset in all directions. Ahorita estamos a 100% de de totalidad del 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 eclipse. I don't I don't see bats. Well, there's no bats around here then. Con el teléfono, pero el el All right, it's at 3:09. Está haciendo un video Looking back, I wish that I would have brought a Govi Bluetooth thermometer with me that would have, that would have plotted the data of the temperature fluctuation. But my uncle, Dr. P.K. Smith, had a thermometer with him and reported the temperature drop 9 degrees. I don't know what that is. Paul, say hi. Hello, how are you doing? Hola, hola, Panama. Aquí está el eclipse. Lo estamos tomando en este momento. What time's it end? 3.09. Or no, 3.10. 3.10. 3.10 what? In a few seconds, so it should be ending soon.
Are you taking this picture from Paul David? Yeah. Nice. 310.54. Sorry. And it's 310. Or it's free. Oh, yes. All right, here we come. It's daytime. Yay! to be darker longer oh wow it brightens up fast I didn't notice it getting dark that fast but you really notice it getting bright fast anyway I hope you're enjoying this PJ living on YouTube and we're back to daylight <laughs> yeah and I come the daylight came faster than the dusk did. Yeah, it did yeah and the daylight looks like it's morning light too that's right that's the diamond that mm -hmm. comes out very nice. That is so cool. Yeah. Awesome. You got it right when I was saying it was starting or ending. Yeah. Get that little fringe there. That purple. Ah. Well, you feel happy with what you got? So far. Yeah. How that's about you? beautiful. I'm happy with what I got, I think. But I know. Uh, totality. Oh, that's awesome. I just did a panel oh, of totality. Oh, awesome. Nice. Let me see. Nice. So, Dave, apparently those pink clouds of material are called solar prominences, according to the display up there at the ranger station. She's saying that you can't see detail in her hair. And during the eclipse, we did. And during the eclipse, you did? Yes, it was the like the very tiny, fine. Huh. Um, I took pictures and I'll make sure you get some of them. All I see is one guy with a big fat belly. Well, Martha and Dawson, what'd you think? It was awesome. Definitely cool. Definitely cool. Very cool experience. And it got cold and now it's getting hot again. Yeah. 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 He went down. Yeah. Very fast. It was like. And they we, came back super fast. And came I think, honestly, fast. it felt like the sun came back faster than it went away. I agree. Yeah. I don't know why. It may have been just because our pupils were dilated I don't know but the other thing is is look look at how few people are still here I mean everybody just kind of peeled out we're still we're still looking at the last of the crescent building back well we're right back to about full sunlight now as you can see there's just a tiny little sliver left in another minute or two, no one will even know an eclipse had happened. But this was an amazing event. When the eclipse happened, it got really dark, but not dark enough that you couldn't see and walk around. And it was, it was twilight in all 360 degrees. So you had like a sunset right before it was getting dark all the way around you. What a neat, what a neat view. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I hope you had more fun than I did.